modern day Democratic Party has become unrecognizable to me and to so many others throughout this state and this country. The party wants to villainize anyone who has free thought. If you don't do exactly what the Democrats want you to do, they will try to bully you. They will try to cast you aside. North Carolina State Representative Trisha Coffin ditching the Democratic Party and joining the GOP, giving Republicans a veto-proof majority in that state. And look who we have, newly minted Republican Representative Trisha Coffin joining us now, along with the North Carolina Speaker of the House, Tim Moore. Thanks to the both of you for being here. Representative Coffin, what was the final straw for you? The final straw has been a lot of different things, but last week after I voted my conscience in something that I believed and did not um, push a button that the party and the governor wanted me to vote, um, the attack ads that came out calling for my resignation and asking me to apologize. Um, you know, the, the thought of being an independent thinker in this world of cancel culture that has taken over the Democratic Party doesn't want people like me or anyone who has free thought, independent thinking, and who's here to actually govern and improve our state. Yeah, they also complained that you had a flag and you had prayer emojis, which seems like something that most Americans do. They didn't like it. What are some of the other ways, Representative, that the Democratic Party has become unrecognizable to the one that you once joined? I mean, just, just with some of my own personal examples, I'm a very strong woman of faith that is extremely important to me, and I display that loudly and proudly, and I've prayed several times in our beautiful chamber and had many comments and then things sent around about, please do not do that, please do not pray to Jesus. Um, I was told that if I wore camo, that meant that... <laughs> I was not a good person and a real Democrat. And, you know, the list really goes on and on. And But this is when you have extremists take over the party with radical um, groups that, you know, also help to really control the party. This is what happened. I'm not going to be bullied. I am a free thinker. I stand firm on that because we do have freedom in this country and I have the right to free thought unbeknownst to what they actually believe. I believe they called you an amosexual, which is one that I had not yet heard of. Representative <laughs> Moore, uh, this switch gives you guys, the Republicans, a supermajority, which will allow you to override any vetoes from your Democratic governor. What policies can you now push through thanks to the supermajority? Well, I will tell you, even before she actually switched parties, we had what I called a governing supermajority because we have a handful of centrist Democrats who've indicated a willingness to vote with us on a number of bills. Uh, I think you can expect to see us continue to move North Carolina in the direction it's been, a low regulation, low tax uh, state that is focused on education, economic development, and really you know, moving away from this wokeness, from some of the silliness that's out there, and making North Carolina the top state in the country for business. And I can tell you, Representative Cotham has been a part of that even before she became a, a Republican. Mm. And you know, the other thing is I've talked to other Democratic members of, of the House, and a number of them, I think, share her sentiment. Uh, you know, they, have, they have seen how the Democratic Party has been hijacked by the far left, and just very, just very rough stuff. I've seen some of the social media attacks that, that she's had against her before she switched parties, just because she would vote with us on things, and even more intense afterwards, even threatening her, her children. And so the, the part on the far left, they are just absolutely nuts. And, and the fact that they want to take it that way is, in fact, driving a lot of people who are just common sense, middle of the road folks, driving them away. And fortunately, you know, the Republican Party is strong enough that as, you know, I'm a conservative, uh, but we are, we are strong enough that we can have members of, you know, of, of, of all thoughts. That, and that's, that's what helps because we have a very strong governing conservative majority and we're glad that she's now a part of it. And we're looking forward to more great results this year. Yeah, many on the left are asking for Representative Cotham to resign. Um, my guess is that you're not going to do that. But again, this is just another beautiful example of the tolerant left on display when they don't get their way. Representative Trisha Cotham, Tim Moore, Republicans, both of you, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it.